Hi, I'm Darren from Australian Clutch, and today we're going to talk about commercial European twin plate clutch kits. Now, the European twin plate clutch kit has a number of different intermediate plates, and we're going to run through some of the setting processes on those twin plates. So we'll go into the workshop, we'll get a couple of intermediate plates set up and show you how they're basically set. This type of centralizer is known as a hammer type centralizer and is set once the clutch kit is mounted to the flywheel. It's quite a simple process, just unbolt the little locking bolt, force the, the hammer centralizer to this reinforced strap, strap section and then lock it back up. This type of centralizer is common with a push type clutch. To set the, the, the centralizer, it's a very simple process again. It's just a punch through the hole and knock the, uh, the centralizer all the way down till it's hard up against the flywheel. Again, once it's hard up against the flywheel, it's set and then you'll get correct release on both clutch discs. This type of intermediate plate has what we call an L-shaped centralizer. Once the clutch is mounted to the flywheel, the centralizer is fitted. And as you can see, there's a slight gap at the top. The gap is then removed and the, the centralizer is forced to the very top. And again, once that's completed, the centralizer is set. 